Hello everyone, thank you for watching the video. So I came across this uh, Craftsman Speed Start 4 cycle. Um, pretty rough looking shape, has been um, garaged um, or probably in a carport. Uh, looks like an open area where lots of spiders can get into because you see the eggs all over it. So uh, that's not a big deal though. Um, let me just kind of go back where we got this. Got this at a uh, secondhand store. Um, had an had a uh, quick attachment or whatever they're called here, and it's a blower. So I haven't seen one of these. So uh, yeah, it's actually a Craftsman. Uh, so it probably came like this, but I took that off temporarily. Uh, I'm trying to find the price tag on this thing. I think it was like $14.99. But uh, I noticed that uh, this had been reconditioned. And someone was trying to resell it for um, $169. Said reconditioned, and they were actually trying to sell it at one time for $219, $220. Trimmer curved. So don't really know what I have other than we've got a you know brittle fuel lines, brittle primer bulb. So I think what we're going to do first is uh, we don't have a cover here for the air filter. We don't have an air filter. What we will do first is um, check the uh, spark in this thing before we start putting new parts on it. Rich wet. Alright, so we got some spark. So let's see what this is going to be like. Oh, filter is looking pretty good. You can use that. Let's go ahead and get this out. Push it through. Here's my new fuel line. Try to get that started. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, after feeding enough into the tank, I'm gonna grab it, pull some on the outside. We're gonna cut this off uh, square. Try to put this old fuel filter on. All right, before putting the filter back in the tank, we're going to clean it. Putting the filter back into the tank, I want it to lay on the bottom. Okay, and then we can connect up here to our nipple. We'll have to take off the remaining old and it is the uh, it is the lower one so this top one here the green one that one's going to go into the tank as a uh, return so uh, I'm going to take that out hopefully I can get it out without it falling into the, into the tank let's see uh, it's going to be tough to do. may have to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to push it through into the tank. Retrieve the other end from inside the tank. So we're looking at about a half inch that we will uh, push our new line into the tank. We've got both fuel lines on. Now we're going to take the primer bulb off here and replace it with the new one. All right, it looks pretty clean. All we have the screws off. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, diaphragm. 
Yeah, it's not as soft as I thought. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, silicone here. I don't like that sound. I want it to be very quiet. I don't want to hear a crunch sound. Old bulb out. Got the new bulb in place. As far as the diaphragm, really not the way I want to go, but uh, don't think I have another one right now. I did condition it a little bit. Still got some crunchy sound to it. Not as soft as I would like, but uh, we will try it out like that. So I'll go ahead and put this in place, grab my screws, and uh, put them in as well. All right, let's see if we've got a prime. Coming into the line, fuel in the bulb. I'm going to use out two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I need a speed start. Okay, so I tried to start it some more off camera, wasn't able to do it, so we're going to take a closer look at uh, the other side of the carb. That actually looks pretty good. Screen looks pretty clean. I don't think it's that bad. I'm going to take the needle out, take a look at it, make sure it's okay and there's nothing. Constricting it. I don't know, it might be clogged up in there. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, got some parts cleaner. Putting the pump diaphragm back on, there's a spring. The large part goes away from the diaphragm. 
So I found it easier to put the spring on first and then put the uh, diaphragm on the unit itself. Let's grab our uh, this metering diaphragm and uh, we'll see how do we do this. Maybe I've got it upside down. There we go. Next, let's check the oil level. All right, so we've got the uh, trimmer level. Good grief, that thing is tight. I don't think there's a stick, so we're going to have to just feel. Yeah, okay, so I'm just barely moving my finger down and I'm touching oil. So um, ideally the oil should be just coming out a little bit. Uh, I think it tells what kind of oil maybe. I don't have the manual, but uh, I can find out for us. But uh, probably good enough to start it up.
here's the cover I took off because I think we may have an oil leak. on this was uh, way high. And I took that pebble off to see if I could see where any oil was blowing out. It was smoking really bad. Uh, I expected it to smoke, but uh, it looked like there was wet oil. So I don't see a leak. Here we are the next day with the speed start, got everything put back together. Um, really, what was not working good on this was um, the idle was set so high on this. I think that may have something to do with these, so much oil coming out of here. Uh, spark plug being super rich. Um, but anyway, I think we might have had that settle. I still got my screwdriver for any future adjustments. We're gonna try to start it for the first time here. Uh, today, it's cold. Um, again, that's a speed start, four cycle. This has a convertible attachment blower here. I don't think there is a nozzle for this. I think that's just the way it goes, works. Um, so yeah, let's try to start it up here. First time cold start. Oh, we've got a little makeshift uh, filter cover. Very smooth. Four cycle speed start by Craftsman with the 
convertible attachment being a leaf blower uh, that works a lot better than I actually thought it would I've never used one of those with, on a trimmer um, runs really well I like it a lot and uh, I think I'm gonna make a video about the leaf blower um, yeah that's a pretty cool idea so um, anyway thanks for watching turned out pretty well it's not uh, blowing oil anymore doesn't vibrate all over the place not loud uh, this is a nice trimmer um, thanks for watching Craftsman Speed Start Technology Weed Wagon